Win Sentry is used to monitor Windows targets that don't have a SQL Server or SSAS instance installed. If you have a Hyper-V environment, Win Sentry provides additional insight into your Hyper-V host metrics and usage. When you're monitoring a Windows target, the Performance Analysis Dashboard provides the same Windows resource metrics that were covered in the SQL Sentry Performance Analysis Dashboard section in the SQL Sentry module. That video is also available here. On the toolbar, the report icon will take you to the Windows Performance Report, which is fairly similar to the Win Sentry dashboard. vCPU wait time under CPU usage represents the percentage of time a guest virtual machine has spent waiting for a host kernel resource. Additionally, if you're monitoring a Windows target that has Sentry 1 resources, the CPU usage and memory usage graphs will display the amount being used by the Sentry 1 processes. There is also the Processes tab that we will discuss in the next section. If you're using WinSentry to monitor a Hyper-V host, there is additional information available. On the left side of the dashboard, the available resources for the host will be displayed. The right side of the dashboard displays the usage for those resources broken out by guest machine. These will be displayed regardless of whether you're watching the guest with Sentry 1 or not. In the Disk I.O. section, you can look at total guest I.O. or per virtual machine. Hovering over any of the colored segments will allow you to see which virtual machine it represents. If this guest is being watched with Sentry 1, along with the usual right-click options, you can choose to stop watching that guest with Sentry 1, and you can right-click and go to the Hyper-V guest for that time period. This also works if you select a part of the dashboard and jump to the VM dashboard. Similarly, if you're viewing a Hyper-V guest and are monitoring the Hyper-V host, that host will display as a hyperlink, and you can jump to the host machine. The Disk Activity and Disk Space tabs work very similarly to the Disk Activity and Disk Space tabs in SQL Sentry, but instead of showing database files, they display the VHDX files for each of the guests. Again, if you're watching the virtual machine with Sentry 1, you can jump to either the Disk Activity or Disk Space tab on the guest with a right click. 